Before we begin today's episode of Assassin, I just want to give some shout outs to the winners of the Champion Axe during this competitive season. Guys, these people have worked so hard to maintain their top 10 position for weeks during this competitive season, so they deserve a shout out. Now, in most competitive seasons, usually the global leaderboard updates in real time. But unfortunately, that did not happen during this competitive season. The leaderboard was kind of just glitched and Prisman never fixed it. So I don't exactly know how accurate this leaderboard is going to be. But, you know, I'm going to try my best anyway. Because, you know, in order for it to be accurate, we would need a completely new server. Which you can't exactly do in competitive servers. So, yeah, I'm just going to shout out what I have. So... Shout out to Copa Rain YT. Congratulations to you, my dude. Shout out to Lucan underscore gaming. Shout out to Matthew Pugman7. Shout out to UK Jared. Shout out to Zordius. Is that how you say it? I don't probably not, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it anyway. Shout out to Blue underscore Dragon1221. Shout out to the bad guy Kill, who, fun fact, is actually the highest prestige in Assassin. Pretty sure he's about prestige 500 right now, but he never got a champion weapon until now. We were all kind of wondering when he was going to get a champion weapon, and it has finally happened. So, congratulations to the bad guy Kill. Uh, shout out to Requesting Blocks. Shout out to Jimbeer. I believe I've seen you around. I don't believe this is your first champion weapon. So shout out to you in particular because you've been doing so much work. And last but not least, shout out to the number one person. It's me, Josh. He is also an assassin YouTuber, so you guys should totally check him out. If you just search up that username, you will definitely find him. So be sure to check out his channel if you guys like more assassin content. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the shout out. You guys worked so hard to get the champion axe. You guys deserve that shout out. And guys, once again, if you get in the top 10 by the end of the competitive season, you will get a personal shout out from me. And all right, let's start the video. How's it going, Data Bites? There's no data here. Welcome back to another episode of Roblox Assassin. So recently there was a small little update. It was a couple days ago. I couldn't really cover it until now because I was away. But as you can see, there is actually a brand new case, ladies and gentlemen. Case 7 right here. And it is pretty cool to have a brand new case because we don't have these quite often, all right? Case 6 was like a year ago, so that's pretty cool. So there is a brand new case 7, and it has a bunch of brand new knives. As you can see, it has some commons here. It has some rares, some legendaries, and a brand new exotic called the Chaos Axe. And just like the other cases, it's a 48% chance common, 40% chance rare, 10% chance legendary, and a 2% chance of getting this brand new exotic. And yeah, there are a bunch of brand new high demand knives in this case. However, I do still need to encourage you guys to keep going for the festive case and the jolly case. Listen, there have been so many updates recently during the Christmas event and I still need to encourage to go for these cases. And the reason for that is these exotics are going to be limited, all right? The Elite case, yeah, there's new exotics, but these are here to stay. Case 7 is obviously here to stay. This is just a brand new case. You know, it's one of the seven normal cases here. But these knives are not going to be around for much longer. There's only a couple more days in this Christmas event. For all we know, it could already be gone by the time you guys are watching this. So you really still want to go for these knives because these are going to be limited. These are going to be rare in the future. These are going to be very, very valuable. And Chaos Axe, it's really not going to be that valuable in the future. So yeah, that's just a little bit of advice for you guys, but as always, rather than listening to my advice, we are going to do a little bit of a mini unboxing with K7. Now before we do this mini unboxing, I would like to point out that I do already have a Chaos Axe, right? I traded for it, and after this unboxing, we will do some gameplay with the Chaos Axe. So if you guys are excited for this episode of Assassin, then be sure to drop a like on this video, it helps out a whole lot, and comment down below, Chaos. And guys, if you're new, be sure to subscribe because very, very soon we are going to do a giveaway for a free Corrupted Axe. So be sure to subscribe so that you are notified about that.
Anyway, yeah, we have a 10,000 token unboxing for K7. Uh, I don't expect to get much. Honestly, the only reason I really did this unboxing was because I haven't opened a lot of K7s. So I would like to get all of these brand new knives and try them out for a little bit. Even though I am probably going to end up crafting them away for exotics. Because, you know, these are obtainable. So it's like, there's really no reason to keep them. But, you know, might as well unbox them and try them out. I really don't think I'm going to get another Chaos Axe. I really don't expect to get one. This is just a little bit of a small unboxing. Not really anything huge. Like, when I was going for the Jolly Case, I was really expecting to get these exotics. And I only got one, which is pretty unfortunate. But, yeah, you know, I'm not expecting too much from this case. Just going to get the new knives and then try them out and have a good time. Because these knives do look very, very nice, I gotta say. Gold foil here looks nice. I really like this knife called Blaze. It's really cool. I'd say my favorite knife from this is probably either Smudge or Rose. Because Rose just looks really, really nice. And Smudge is a really creative knife. Just when you look at it very closely, it kind of looks like ink, which is super cool. But we are still going to bring out the fidget spinner for good luck. And let's open some of these cases. And I am doing this unboxing because I know a lot of you guys want me to do more unboxings because a lot of you guys like these unboxings so yeah i'm going to be doing them a little bit more often i think this is like the fifth unboxing in like how many months three i don't know i've lost count but we've been doing a lot of unboxings recently our first knife right here is bananas which this is this is cool this is already really cool let's take a look at that like that is literally a knife with just a bunch of bananas on it like, what else could you ask for, really? I mean, take a look at it. Like, wow, that's an amazing knife. I am already happy that I have done this unboxing, ladies and gents. Let's open another one. Let's get a good knife. Again, I really don't expect to get the Chaos Axe. If I do, I'd be pretty shook. Oh, I already think... I think I have this knife already, which is pretty unfortunate. Draconic, weird name for a knife, but I'll take it. I mean, I, I don't mind getting another one of these knives. Again, these are kind of high in demand. So, you know, it's really not bad to unbox these. I could probably unbox them for like a couple of rares or maybe like a legendary or something if I'm lucky. Because these are kind of high in demand at the moment. So, uh, really not too bad to get them. All right, let's open another one, ladies and gents. I really want to get those legendaries. Those honestly look so cool. Another draconic. Is this just the knife of the day, ladies and gents? Draconic knife of the day? Listen, I will take anything except bananas and draconic, all right? I'm, I'm going to be straight up with you. Uh, I believe this is slime. Don't don't get bananas. Don't get bananas. There we go. We got slime. That is another cool knife. Again, these knives look super cool. Even though I do recommend that you guys still go for the festive case. You know, these knives do look cool. Once this event is over, you guys can totally go for this if you want. I just feel like this case is still the best for your inventory but once the event is over and you want all these cool knives or possibly the chaos axe you could definitely go for this by all means but honestly once this event ends i kind of have to recommend that you guys go for the elite case because we have onyx right here and because of the christmas event not a lot of people have actually been going for the elite case so onyx is still pretty valuable don't get me wrong it's still going to drop all right this knife will drop in the future however it is pretty rare at the moment so you guys can totally start going for the onyx mythic once this event has ended but k7 is also a good option if you guys want these cool knives because let me tell you there's really not a single bad knife in this case we are going to get another draconic all right draconic is the knife of the day all right another one come on g give me something good yes rose this looks this looks looks nice this is a really beautiful knife the chaos axe is right there but again i don't expect to actually get that knife let's take out the rose I, th this one looks really cool this is a pretty cool knife i really can't complain about that now rose foil that's an ugly legendary but rose this is a really good legendary and this knife is actually perfect with my color like no it is actually perfect to the point where it blends in with my body almost it's like camouflage i'm actually considering keeping this knife because of how awesome it looks just it blends in perfectly with my color all right let's open some more cases let's skip and we got blaze this is also another cool knife that is awesome all right let's open another one what are we going to get this time we are going to get another slime all right we're gonna start getting repeating knives so far i'm missing garnet gold foil neon koi and smudge and granted you know i don't really collect every single knife in the game 
But it is nice to have all of these knives for the time being because they are pretty high in demand. What are we going to get this time? We're going to get another Draconic. Great. Everyone's favorite knife. I'm, I'm almost certain I'm going to be crafting these into a legendary. I don't know. All right. Tenth case. And with this case, we will be halfway done with this sort of miniature unboxing. We are going to get Smudge. All right. All right. That's, that's great. We have every single legendary in the case, ladies and gents. All right, let's open another case. I believe this is our 11th case. We passed the Chaos Act, so obviously we're not going to get it. You'll usually see the exotic at least once. We are going to get another Draconic. All right. But yeah, as I was saying, we usually see the exotic at least once when we open these types of cases. And you know, once you pass it, you're probably not going to see it ever again. All right, let's open another one. Ladies and gents, what knife are we going to get? We are going to get Slime again. Neon Koi. No, we're not going to get Neon Koi yet. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That is such a weird name for a knife. Neon Koi. Like, is it is it really Neon? What does Koi even mean? Hold on, I gotta look this up. A common carp of large ornamental variety originally bred in Japan. Um, okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's in Japan, so I wouldn't exactly... Give me the Chaos Axe, baby. Just kidding. I know I'm not gonna get the Chaos Axe. I don't have that kind of luck. We're gonna get Garnet, though, which I don't believe I have this knife yet. Is that true? Do I not have this knife yet? I didn't. All right. So all I need is gold foil and neon koi and all of every single knife in the case, which is pretty good, except I'm probably just going to trade them away for better stuff because again, these are high in demand. So I might as well just trade them off before they become measly rares and commons and legendaries and whatnot. Let's open another case, ladies and gents. We're almost done with this. Let's skip. We're going to get Blaze. That's nice. Let's open another one. Let's skip again. We're going to get Garnet. All right. And we got another Rose. So yeah, we're probably not going to get the exotic. And you know what? I didn't really expect to get it. Let's open another one. Uh, we'll just let this one go. Never mind. We're just going to skip another Rose. All right. I really can't complain about that. All right. We have two more left. I'm just going to let both of them go. We passed the Chaos Axe once again. And we are going to get Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-E-S. All right. Um, did I get Neon Koi? I don't think I did. All right. So I am still going to be missing a couple of knives, which is unfortunate. But whatever. Fine by me. We are going to open this once again and see where we get. All right. We are going to get Neon Koi, please, because I don't have that knife. We're going to get Slime. All right, then. A common. That's great. But regardless, we are going to start the gameplay with the brand new Chaos Axe because I already had it. Now, you guys are probably wondering how I got this glorious axe, and the answer is I traded for it. And you're probably wondering what this knife is going to be worth. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I am almost certain that the Chaos Axe is going to end up being worth one exotic. You know, basically, one of my golden rules for Assassin is any exotic that you can unbox or craft with legendaries, that knife is going to end up being worth one exotic. Now, in the Heroic case, pretty much all these exotics are worth two. And honestly, I don't really agree with that. I feel like they should be worth one. Because if anything, these are really easy to find. But yeah, pretty much any obtainable exotic is going to drop to one eventually. We've seen this song and dance before when Fairy first came out. When Emerald Knight first came out, this thing was worth like five exotics. When Emerald Knight first came out, it dropped to one. Fairy, this was like four exotics, it dropped to one. Pharaoh, it, it dropped to one eventually. And with case seven, it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing. Like, yeah, at the moment, it's worth like four or five exotics with hype status, but I can almost guarantee you that eventually it's going to drop down to one after like a few weeks. So as you can see from this screenshot right here, I basically just traded Ice Lord because that's really the only type of trade that you guys should really be doing. You know, if you really want to overpay to get this cool axe, and you really can, but I'm almost certain that this is going to be one exotic eventually, so I'm just going to trade one exotic for it. So yeah, not too much to say about it. I traded Ice Lord, and that's pretty much the end of it. Now, that being said, this axe is super cool. It's just a nice golden axe. It looks very, very old. I feel like I'm in, like, the medieval times when I'm using this knife, but it's still super cool. It is so much fun to use. It's just a huge axe, and it's interesting that we now have an axe that you could just unbox at any time. Like, we used to have axes that were super high in demand, like Corrupted Axe and Possessed Axe, because those were, like, the only axes in existence at the time it was really just corrupted and possessed axe but now we have so many other axes in the game and now we finally have like an axe that you can just 
unbox from a case and that's the end of it you know and that is a good and bad thing you know it's good because you can pretty much get an axe at any time but it's also bad because you know demand for corrupted axe and possessed axe they're going to drop because you know we could just get an axe by unboxing it you don't have to work to get corrupted axe anymore well, no, you still have to work to get Corrupted Axe in particular, but you really don't need to work to get an Axe in particular. Like, if you don't care about what Axe you get, like, you can just unbox the Chaos Axe, and that's it. You will have an Axe, so you can just go on your way, you know? But yeah, once again, the Chaos Axe is going to drop to 1, so if you want to trade for it, you can. Just, I would just trade 1 Exotic, and if someone declines that, then boohoo. You'll, you'll get it eventually. And in terms of tokens, I would still go for the Festive Case and the Jolly Case. Particularly the Jolly Case because, you know, you can get better knives and you have a higher chance of getting an exotic and stuff like that. If you really want to go for the Festive Case, that is another good alternative. But you do have a lower chance and you are getting worse stuff. But, hey, that, that, that is an option better than Case 7 because this is going to be worth one in the future. So you really shouldn't try to unbox it. But let's play this round of Infection real quick. Now, I believe this round was a lot more balanced. Maybe it is still unbalanced in pro servers, but it is a bit more balanced. And generally, you're going to want to try to survive instead of getting kills. I tend to find in pro servers, you kind of want to prioritize kills. But in classic servers, you definitely want to try to survive. So in all honesty, we're really not going to try to get a lot of kills. We're kind of just going to want to hang out. Because if you go out there, you have a higher risk of getting killed. So, yeah, might as well just camp my way to victory, you know? Because I really don't have to get any kills or anything. I kind of just need to survive until the time runs out. And we have a solid 10 seconds left. So I'm just going to camp right here. Hopefully nobody goes up the ladder for the next 3 seconds. Alright, I think we are good. There we go. We won. GG. Also, guys, by the time you're seeing this, this bundle is going to be off sale, and I don't really want to leak anything. However, I do see a brand new New Year's bundle in the future, In the near future is going to be a New Year's bundle. So it might already be on sale by the time you guys are watching this, so we will definitely make a video on that once it comes out. So yeah, be sure to look forward to that. And that's pretty much going to be it for this video, ladies and gents. We did a little bit of a mini unboxing, and I showed a little bit of gameplay with the Chaos Axe, and I also talked about how I got it. Uh, not too much to say about it, because, you know, it is just a brand new case, brand new exotic. Not too much to say, especially compared to the big updates recently. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Assassin's Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and those other things that YouTube people do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay purple.